Hey guys, Mixed Media Girl here. Today we're going to do another acrylic pour with the Little Birdie Pouring Medium and their acrylic pouring paint, which I have here. We are going to be making some very simple and beautiful coasters. So we always start off by mixing our paint. First thing you wanna do is shake the paint in the bottle. Make sure it is well mixed, just in the bottle by itself. And then we're gonna pour it in the cup. This color is Sapphire Trail. And then you add your pouring medium. Now this is already fairly fluid. We do not need a lot of pouring medium. I'm gonna add just a little bit. And you wanna get your paint to the point where it will move nice and easily across your canvas or surface without being too watery. So you don't wanna to add too much of the pouring medium or it'll make it um, flow too easily and your colors will actually get a bit muddy. So this is a pretty good consistency. It could even actually be a little bit thicker. So if you add too much pouring medium, just go ahead and add more paint. I'm gonna mix up the rest of my paints the same exact way, and then we'll be right back for our project. All right, I've got all my paints mixed up, and now I'm gonna go ahead and get my cup ready for the pour. So I'm pouring the colors into this cup here together. That's what's called a dirty pour. You can pour the colors one at a time onto your surface, just directly. That would be called a clean pour. There's no right or wrong way to do this. And I'm just layering the colors in here. I've got the blue, teal, white, and black. I suggest only using a very small amount of that black because it can take over. Just add very little amounts at a time of each color. All right, that should be plenty of paint. So I'm gonna pour these in a method called a tree ring, which means I'm gonna go in the middle here and I'm gonna just go in a little bit of a circle. Now you don't need a lot of paint for these guys. And these are wood coasters from Little Birdie. Okay, so I'm just pouring a little bit in the middle here. Make sure I get my paint spread out pretty evenly. And then I may come back and add a little bit more as needed. But for right now, this looks like it will be plenty. Okay, I'm gonna add a little more to these first two. All right. Now we're gonna go ahead and just take them and slowly start tilting. I like to go in a circular motion here. And you're just gonna go slowly. Eventually, you'll get to the edge there and you will run the paint off because we wanna cover our edges as well. But another thing you can do is once these are dry, you can actually paint the edges a separate color. So sometimes I like to go in there with some gold or silver or just some color that goes along with it. Move this cup here. I have these set up on cups so that they can dry nicely. And you probably see why I say don't use too much black. The black can really take over. I hardly put any of it in there, but you can definitely see it. All right, here's our first one. Go ahead and move that off to the side a bit there. You can also just go ahead with your gloves and make sure you get all of the edges fully covered here. And now we'll just do the same thing with the rest of them. All right, I've got the four coasters done. So I'm gonna go through and make sure I get all of the sides covered. And then I will bring you guys in for a close up. Here are the coasters close up. I really like these colors together. I think I could have gone with a little bit less black, but that's okay. These are beautiful. 
So as I stated earlier, you can cover the edges with a different color after these are dry. And then to seal coasters, I use resin. I think that's the best thing to seal them with to really protect them and make them so the cups don't stick and they don't get ruined. So there you guys go. I really hope you enjoyed this video. So please let me know what you think down in the comments. Make sure that you are subscribed and don't forget to check in the description for the list of all the materials and I'll see you all next time.